Hello. All right. How are we doing tonight? I always feel like I'm forgetting something. I think I'm usually fine. Got the game. We got chat. Hello, chat. Hey, Pyro. How are you doing tonight? Um. Hey, Loof. Yeah, we got all the mods in chat. Very exciting. Yeah, I have a, a couple of, like, stream announcements, which I, I'll, I guess I'll mention them now, and then as people roll in, I'll, I'll, uh, say things again. So, I have a Discord, um, which is in my About Me, um, linked. Uh, it used to just be my Discord, but, um, me and a few other streamers, Boiled Garlic, Alley Cat, Dave, and, um, Lou, a bunch of familiar faces, have decided that we're gonna share the Discord. Um, because, I don't know, I think that'll be better at, like, creating a shared space, and I, I, um, was talking to some other streamers, and they said that they tried it out, and I'm curious about it. I want to see if it works. Um, so, I'm excited about that. Um, we're also gonna be enforcing the no hints rules going forward, so that's why we have a few lovely new mods. Um, so... We'll get just gonna just gonna try to keep a lid on that a little bit more at, at least for this game like i've said this before and i'm definitely gonna say it again but i don't mind hints depending on the game like some games i think it's totally appropriate and and i like to have that interaction with chat but for this game it's just so important to have a clean gaming experience but i also acknowledge that this is streaming and that that <laughs> some amount of uh of uh, communication with chat like that is just gonna happen so we're gonna roll with it i'm gonna start the game up hey chronarch how are you doing my stream my rules you're right you're right i guess it's just because i'm so new to streaming that i didn't have a very clear rule set when i started this particular game like, before, it was just kind of, like, playing it by ear, all that. But now I've, like, got some, got some, a better idea. So, I'm trying to remember where we left off last time. Um, I kind of want to, I want to just go straight to reading my, uh, ship log. You're tired and buried in projects. Oh no. Hopefully, the uh, the timing of those projects is not too strict for you. Quantum caves. We definitely read up on this a lot last time. I'm actually surprised that there's more to explore. Or maybe this this could have been a different cave. I think this was a different cave. Maybe we'll go there first, because that was really cool. And then, yeah, the old settlement and the Sunless City still have notes. Um, ooh, there's more in the shuttle, too. Okay. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Like, I thought it was going to melt, and then it didn't. So maybe we'll go back and try, try some other stuff. Uh, you're playing with a new capture card, toying with the idea of running some jackbox at some point. That'd be really fun. Um, capture cards are super cool. It was It's funny. So when I first started streaming... Where are we going to go? You know, let's go here first. So mark that. And we can just get moving. Um, oh, yeah, and I've got a new timer now. So, like, as new people run in, uh, roll in, they'll hopefully see the timer. Um, I got a capture card because when I first started streaming, I was playing games on my PlayStation 4, specifically Horizon Zero Dawn, um, and I was so excited to, like, continue playing that game, and then I immediately just started playing games, um, off, off my PC instead of my PlayStation. <laughs> oh, we're going way too fast. How did this happen?
only one is strictish. Is it a commission? If so, because that's cool. Yeah, at some point, I'm thinking about playing a game off of my PlayStation, or my Switch even, just to, like, get enough use out of my capture card to justify having purchased it. Alright. Eh, that'll do. I'm trying to remember how we even got to the Quantum Caves. I don't totally remember where those are, so I'm just gonna kind of follow this. We'll start here. What does this say? I don't remember if the quantum caves are in the city or not, and I kind of think they're not. I'm gonna go this way, just, just to check. I have to kind of remind myself a little bit. Nope, all right, so. It must, um, be the other way. Uh, current map which will be turned into next month's bookmark. That's really cool. Yeah, I guess because the end of the month is quickly approaching. I feel like time is flying by a lot faster than it ever has. Like, I don't know. I mean, time always feels like it's flying, but especially in quarantine, it's like you blink and a month has gone by. This just feels like the wrong way. How did I get to the quantum cave before? Was it something, was it, maybe it was a cave on the outside and it was just like a different entrance? Oh, I guess I should turn the lights on. Come on. This might be, uh, well, there's two quantum caves, like, there's two areas. I don't think that's right. Having the light switches, of course, you look at the place, um, that, uh, needs light. Yeah, yeah, I noticed, like, the, uh, the height of them, too, for which area it is. That, I think that's really clever design. Like, this game does a great job of just, like, intuitive game design. Um, uh, but also... Easy to get lost sometimes. Let me see. Stone District, High, High Shrine District. I remember one of these had like a way out, so I'm just trying to remember which one that was. 
It's probably the top one. Or maybe it was this. You know what? It was this. I remember. I think it was inside the building, though. Or maybe it was. Maybe it was just like... The first run in, like, any Outer Wild stream for me is just getting my bearings. Just, like, remembering, like, where everything is. <laughs> fish scent fuel remaining already. I mean, I guess I've been using it a lot. Uh, Mobius was so sneaky with so much. There's some interviews floating around with the devs that are super interesting. I can't wait to watch them. Um, they've been, like, on my mind, too. Um, once I'm done with the game, I'm, like, gonna go on such a dive to, like, learn more about it for sure. What am I gonna do here? How am I gonna do this? I want to, like, I could just restart, but I also want to get my bearings before I have to do that so that when I come back I like at least know what I'm doing but also I might not be able to get out Been here, done that. I mean, this seems dumb to go back the way we came, but. Oh, I can't actually. <laughs> They're like, you're stuck in here. What's that? I just noticed the, uh, sigil up there. Maybe I'll just try to navigate around here for this. A good one, you won't like it. The Outer, outer Wilds, Death, inevitabil Inevitability, and Ray Bradbury. The floor is lava. Huh. Oh, I've got some new, uh, have I been in here? I don't think I've been in here. Uh, be welcome. Be welcomed in this place. The shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to this star system. The signal from the eye. We observed the eye's signal in our travels and followed it here with, uh, here to find its source. What we know is this. The source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the eye of the universe, is older than this universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Enter and open your mind to its possibilities. Yeah, ship log updated. Okay, so yeah, we haven't been here before. That's cool. I like finding new places. If the eye called to us, why won't it reveal itself? Why is it so difficult to locate it? Did the signal stop? Does the eye no longer desire to be found? Perhaps it isn't the eye's choice. The eye may not be able to communicate with us more than it already has. 
that something happened to it. I just noticed the sound of the sand stopped. Um, no clip did a decent one too, if you recall. Uh, on the behind the scenes as well. Cool. I'm very excited to check those out. Did the eye deliberately call out to us by sending the signal, or did we hear the signal by coincidence? We could be seeing meaning where there is none. Suppose the signal was produced in, uh, incidentally. Does that mean the eye is any less important, though? Perhaps the eye wanted to be found. It could be sentient. Maybe it chose us. Does the eye desire something from us? It could need us in some way. Maybe it doesn't have to be us. Is the eye natural or artificial? Maybe someone built it. The eye is older than the universe itself. How could something exist before its creator? It could be naturally occurring, though this doesn't answer how the eye could be as old as it is. This all feels very, like, similar to things we've already learned. Oh, this is just, like, an easy way to get out. Is there anything else that I'm missing here? Ooh, okay. I like that. That's very cool. Anything else in here? They bring them up as related concept. And you, yeah, you wrote Fahrenheit 51, yeah. Well, that's cool. Alright, were there any other little, like, hidden nooks up here that I just haven't seen? I mean, I know I'd, like, been around there before, but I thought I'd explored it. But I guess not. gravity cannon. This is what I was looking for, was the gravity cannon. Yeah, I don't know if we can even get to it at this point, but... Uh, I guess we can. We did it! Ha! Ah. Perfect. First try. It's funny, I feel like I could very easily just, like, restart the game um, any time that I, uh... Whoops. That's fine. Feel like I, like, haven't gone to the right place. But I always end up finding something new. Now I'm just kind of going to my ship, so I don't know if it's really worth it. Well, I guess it wasn't that far. But, um, Kronark, how are you doing tonight? And Loof, I don't know if I actually gave you, like, a proper hello. So, hi. So... I know now... That, uh... I'm gonna have to go to that cave at the bottom of, like, the crater. Oh, yeah, and then up here there's, like, things that I haven't figured out yet. Like, there's- it keeps telling me there's more to learn here. Brain mush mode from work? I feel that. This is cool to look at. I have a hunch that the thing I need to do here is less about something I need to interact with and more about like standing in the right place at the right time. Um, I 
makes me think that at some point I should do a run where I just kind of come straight here and just like wait. I think I've gone over here. Yeah. I do like these little campfires that they put around too. Oh, I have some new um, channel point redemptions too. Quantum moon locator, yeah. Yeah. Wait, no, what? Updated. This looks familiar, though. The quantum moon locator is functioning. We have markers for each of the places the moon goes. Anora, Burr, uh, I just observed the quantum moon in orbit around Dark Bramble. I added a marker for Dark Bramble. I thought the locator now accounted for all of the phantom moon's locations, but sometimes the locator can't tell where the moon is. Perhaps there's a problem with the device? It's also possible there exists a sixth place in the solar system to which the phantom moon travels. Ah... Uh, you have keen eyes, my friend, so this moon travels a total of five locations, not four. Mentioning the, sh the uh, sixth location. Which we know is, like, really far away from the, um, planetarium, I think is the right word for what we found. Maybe I just read this one and thought that I had read the other one. Yeah, because this one didn't update. Oops. Is there anything else out here? I don't think so. Uh, but yeah, some new pa um, channel point redemption um, for, like, a lot of channel points. So for, like, 50,000 points, um, I can I'll do a baking stream. And also for 50,000 points, I'll do a, um, um, like a makeup art stream, which would be kind of fun. Just like something different. I don't know. I thought about making one of them a, um, uh, a goal, like a channel goal so that people like everybody can contribute to it. And I might still do that, uh, just because I think that the actual, oh, this doesn't just reset it. I thought it did. That's fine. I'll just med meditate to the next loop. Alright. Um, just because, like, I'm still, like, so new and I stream pretty infrequently and for generally kind of short time um, compared to a lot of streamers, so 50,000 points will, like, take a while to get up there. So maybe the first one will be a, um, uh, goal, like a channel goal. You're trying to stay awake, but mega doink from bad sleep for the last five nights. Dude, go get some sleep. Yeah. Take it easy. Yeah, because you get up at, like, an ungodly hour every morning. I don't know how you do it. I mean, repetition is how you do it. Repetition and commitment. <laughs> yeah, take it easy, man. Have a great night. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate it. Yeah, happy to. I need to come up with an actual schedule. That'll be better. Anytime before noon is an ungodly hour. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Where did the... Oh yeah, here. Nope, view entry. 
know my device created to track quantum moon's location. The know my hypothesis of quantum moon might be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics. Macroscopic. The uh, the quantum moon travels to a total of five locations. All right, let's try this again. Do I have it on? Okay. I have done a mix of all all the sleep schedules. I for a while I was getting up at like 6:37 every day because um, when I was working in an office, I really like to just have the morning to eat breakfast and relax and catch up on the internet. Um, but now that I'm working from home, it's like I sleep in until the last possible second that I can get up and make breakfast before it's too late. So we want to go to the other side of the moon. Our planet. So I'm trying to remember where I got to this first quantum cave. Um because there's the one that's like really deep Maybe it is just in here. That would be convenient. Yes. Okay, we have read this. I really like that it gives you a little notification. There it is. Where do you go? Don't go anywhere. This is the same- maybe this is the same rock. Yeah. This is the same rock. No! Damn it, Scout. What did I put you there for? There it is. This is... Ooh, is that another cave? Is this a... Or is this... I didn't realize that there were multiple ways to get in here. Hey, K uh, Kisilder? Is that how everybody says it? Welcome to the stream. Also, just a heads up, I know you're joking, but um, no no hints in, uh, in the stream for Outer Wilds. Uh, let's see. Where are we going? Uh, Kid is Sea Leader. You haven't played it? Cool. There's tons of stuff everywhere. Yeah, no kidding. Like, <laughs> oh, it's my favorite. It's the Quantum Cactus. The quantum cactus are my absolute favorite. Uh, 
This rock is very familiar. Did you travel here, my sedimentary friend? I love that. You're too busy manufacturing puns. I understand, I understand. You should definitely play this game, though. Yes, absolutely. Bronark is 100% right. Um, yeah, so I am, uh, I'm reading aloud the stuff that I have, um, uh, not seen before. So some of the stuff that I'm reading right now, I'm just kind of like going back to areas I've already been to. That's why I'm not reading it. remember this was like how I got to one of these areas first um, I guess let's go back to the ship for like a moment let's see let's see Right now I'm just kind of like getting my bearings. I'm just like... Still more to explore. When am I traveled to this... Ooh, come back. To the solar system in pursuit of a signal from something older than the universe itself. They named the source of this signal the Eye of the Universe. Okay, finally, we've seen everything in the Sunless City. Thank God. Alright. But not the Quantum Caves. Unless they mean the other Quantum Caves. It's possible. I don't think so. There was like that other one that had more instruction to it. Yeah, the lake bed cave. I guess we're going back to the quantum cave, and I'm just gonna, like, read everything as well as I can. They're talking about the other quantum caves. Also, hello. How are you doing today? Maybe there's something else in this area that I missed. Like I've... Oops! That startled me just a tiny bit. There we go. Come on, let me read it. Let me read it! If I scan everything again, maybe I'll miss, like, the one bit of text. something I wish I could turn out the light on the scout
Just made a helicopter fly on Mars? I know. But how are you doing? How are you doing, um... Embellis? I believe that was... It. Mmm. God damn. That's right? Okay, phew. Alright. I'm so bad at the Twitch names, y'all. I'm bad at just, like, reading in general. <laughs> You're doing all right. Overly hyped. Um, there was a leak regarding Outer Wilds today. Yeah, it was like a some DLC or something, right? I haven't like looked into what it was, but I heard that there was uh, something. Yeah, yeah. Cronark posted it in the Discord. I don't think anyone knows what it is. Like, I don't think there's been any kind of like announcement or anything. Hey, Kim. Welcome in. We're trying to figure out what I could have possibly missed here. <laughs> and, uh... Maybe there, there must be some way to get this thing to go to an additional location. That's my guess. And I'm trying to think if there's, like, a way that I can almost, like, block the entrance to one of them so, like, this is forced to go somewhere else. And the only way I can think to do that is with a scout, but that doesn't seem right. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. God, I love the cacti. No joke, the cacti might be my favorite. The quantum cacti might be my favorite part of this game. But Kim, how are you doing tonight? I was lurking a little bit in your stream, but I, I couldn't hang out too, too much. Hmm. I was wondering if there was anything down there. I don't think so, though. Yeah, of course. I, I try to, like, always be lurking in somebody somebody's stream if, if I can't, like, be actively chatting. Um, I wish there were more hours in the day. the interloper. You're doing all right. Feeling a little dizzy, though. You might get some rest early. That seemed to be a pretty common theme tonight. Everybody seems to be a little off. I know, like, I have, like, some really bad stomach pain and just, like, I'm just uncomfortable. It's Wednesday, we're just tired. Wednesday is like, I, I think it's one of the worst days of the week because it's like you're just in it. You're just in the middle of everything. We're about to suffocate. Sorry, guys. Yeah, that's fine. Um, hey, hey, Lou. Just popping in to say a quick hello. If anyone tries to tell me how to play, um, You'll be back to give them what for. Thank you, Lou. Appreciate it. Um, 
But yeah, it's like Wednesday, it's too soon to like start looking forward to the weekend because it feels too far, but it's also like you've got a bunch of work left over from Monday and Tuesday. <sighs> That wake up gets me every time. Hmm. Where are we going next? That was somewhat productive. We at least got the Sunless City. Did we- oh, we learned more about the sixth location, too. Yeah. It's funny when we find some of these things, like, out of order a little bit. Oh yeah, and then we got here, too, on the last stream. The Coral Forest. Okay. I gotta figure out how to get here. Central chamber inside Ash Twins is physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. He <laughs> lives a sheltered life. Oh my god. Um... They could increase the negative time interval between arrival and departure by adding energy to the warp core. Oh, okay. So that's what the uh, the difference is between the having the the white and and black hole models have power and not have power. The timing is slightly faster. Got it. All right. Black Hole Forge. I kind of, you know what, let's go, let's go here because I was trying to get there, not even on the last stream, like two streams ago, and I couldn't quite figure it out. So let's give it another shot. Uh, Brittle Hollow, I want to be, like, there we go, less afraid of, um, just because navigating it is challenging. I feel like I'm always just gonna, um, fall and hit it. You weren't a fan of Brittle Hollow, you always got lost. You've also found it difficult to get into? Well, hopefully. We're gonna figure it out today. Come on, I just wanna go down. That works. I'm never really sure where to put my ship when I come here either. I think that makes it like a little bit hard to for me to navigate. Um you did enjoy getting to the forge, although in an unexpected way. Cool, cool. Uh hey Ali. Can't stay long, but you're hanging out uh while you eat. Welcome in. Thanks for stopping by. What are you having? What are you eating?
the shuttles at the quantum moon. So cool. <laughs> taking a break from my diet and it's like you don't quite realize how badly you need to just eat normally until you are and it's like man that noise is wild southern observatory portion size than uh, content. Yeah, that, so that's like how I do my uh, diet. I don't know. I struggle to call it a diet, um, but I just like, I'm counting calories, so I'm just limiting the amount of food that I am eating. Um, and exercise really helps too. Yeah, like it, it, like definitely it's a combination, right? You have to do a little bit of both, I think. Um, one will one will get you a decent way of the of the of to your goal, but might might not necessarily be all the way. Huh. Sorry, I think a fan just came on in my computer that I've like never heard before and I like took my headphones off and it sounds normal it might be my new graphics card I'm definitely gonna take a look at that later but I was just like what is that noise um that is so loud I don't know why it's so loud. <laughs> okay. Um, I struggle a lot with eating out of boredom instead of hunger. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, I know you guys can't hear it. It, it was more a um, just concern for my computer. I was like, is everything okay? Is it about to catch fire? Like, what's going on? It's never made this noise before. So I was more just, like, nervous. But I think it's fine. I just... I don't know. I'm gonna look at it later. And now it stopped. Like, it was probably... You know what? I bet it was just the GPU just, like, kicking on and just... Doing something. Or a fan could be dying. I don't know. All right, so I want to get up there, and I'm not sure how yet. We're going to start by going up as high as we can. But yeah, I I don't know. I don't want to talk about dieting like too, too much, just because I feel like I talk about that all the time. Um... But it's previously, before I had ever tried to, like, control my diet, um, I'm gonna, oh man, I'm not gonna, oh wait, there's oxygen in here. 
I'm gonna throw a, a quick like two minute trigger warning out there for diet related conversations. Um, but I never, so like starting, starting now. Okay. Um, I never understood before I started dieting how someone could develop an eating disorder. That never really made sense to me because I'm like, eating is the best thing. Like, why would you ever want to suppress your eating? Like, you could eat different things or whatever. And now that I've tried counting calories where you have a set goal that you must maintain to have a result, and if you come up a little bit below that goal, it is uh, considered like a good thing. Um, all of a sudden, I was like, oh shit, I, I get it now. I understand how detrimental that could be to someone's mental health. Um, and it, it like totally changed my whole perspective about it. So I try to be kind of careful when I'm talking about uh, calorie counting and that kind of thing because I don't want to accidentally influence someone in the wrong way or like motivate some or, or like uh, recommend something that works for me but could be absolutely de detrimental to someone else's health. I don't know. It's it's really it's a difficult subject. It's a really difficult topic. But that is that is the end of my content warning there. All right. So Let's go back down to the controls, which I think was two down. This might be the school. I'm not totally sure. Meltwater District. Yeah, I don't think it's this one. content warning. Thank you, Pyro. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, uh, you will say um, it is kind of being a guy a little bit, but you um, have seen some great gains from keto. I have uh, also, I've like tried, I, so I don't follow any particular like structured diet, um, but I do like keto meals. I think keto meals feel really good. Um, this is where I want to be. I want this thing to go up. You just watch carbs personally and don't watch calories and still uh, lost in just a couple weeks. Yeah, that's that sounds very familiar to me. Ooh. What's that? Oh no, that's where we were. That's where we were. I remember that little shrine area. Your life is basically carbs. I like I absolutely adore carbs. Orc with the raid! Hello, Orc! Welcome in. How was your stream? Thank you so much for uh, getting that shout out. Uh, trying to read chat and can't climb a damn ladder. Stream was lit? That's awesome. What? Is this new? I don't know if I've been here. You blessed Nine and uh, came with your raid video. <laughs> That's a great video. Gotta say. Is this like how I got into the... Uh... I have been here. Damn. 
Okay. Hey, Dave. Welcome. Uh, pasta cravings and bread cravings, you can manage, uh, but there's alternatives. There's no alternative to a good crisp apple. That's true. That's true. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I fucking love carbs. Like... I absolutely love carbs. I wonder where that goes. Let's find out. Ow. Oh. Oh, just back here. Alright. Uh, katana. <laughs> I got what you're saying. How do I get to you? God damn. How do I do it? I'm gonna figure this out. We're gonna we're gonna fucking get there, you guys. I don't care what it takes. I'm gonna get there. to go to my ship and just fly down here. Like, where is my ship? Ship, are you still here? Oh my god, it is. It's not gone yet. Well, actually, I guess I kind of should go this way so I can at least get on top of the planet. I'm not gonna have any fuel left to do any of this. Like how guacamole, guacamole is its own diet item. <laughs> um, control room to the uh, lift structure it was entirely new to you. You've never seen it. Ah. Just goes to show that it doesn't matter how many times you've played this game, there's always some, like, new thing to discover. We're gonna go all the way back up. Alright, I will... I will walk a little bit. Just a little, not a lot. I think this way is gonna be fastest. Six dollars for a pint of guacamole. Oh my gosh. I usually just buy like uh, a couple of avocados and just check them every day. And then I just put it on toast. Like a true... I'm not even a millennial, am I? I don't know. I don't know what the age parameters are on all this. <laughs> That's funny, I can hear the... Uh... get to my ship. Ooh. Oh my god, I can't believe I made that. Oh my god. Ugh, I almost died as a result, but that's fine. You're getting some buffering. Is that everybody? Is everybody getting some some buffering, let me check. Uh, one moment.
Okay. Let me know if it gets bad because it might be, I don't know what it is. Yeah, I guess some lag. My downloads or my upload speed is pretty bad right now too. I think that just is the uh, result of living with uh, three other people and one internet connection. So let me know if it gets bad and we'll take it from there. Looks okay right now? Okay, cool. We can make it, we can make it, we can make it! Yeah, oh my god, I can't believe my ship held on. Ship, I'm so proud of you. Good job, buddy. It seems better now? Okay, it might have just been a hiccup. into the black hole go up 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 <laughs> come on yeah we're out of the pole of the uh... is there anything to like land on here Fuck. Damn. I was hoping... <laughs> the response to puns has devolved to just, ow. <laughs> How do I get up here? I know that this is like a teleporting platform. I can't believe how loud my computer is right now. It's never been this loud. Yeah, nope. I was hoping gravity was gonna shift there, but apparently not. I'm not gonna make you guys listen to that. <laughs> yeah, no, no worries, Impulus. No worries. And thank you, Allie, for the reminder. I know it's, like, so easy in this game to just, like, little bits of information, especially things that are, like, helpful uh, for, like, navigation and stuff, but... I'll get there. I'll get it. Okay. Uh... I guess I should go and mark the hanging city again. No, no worries. It's all good. Just be careful because uh, if you do it again, my mods might mute, might mute you. There we go. Wait, now it says that there's nothing left to see here. I guess it's just like the black hole forge that we just haven't been to. <laughs> I, I love that emote, Luffy's emote with the sword. I know it's like something else. I think it's his raid emote, but it's so good.
<laughs> no hammer, please. <laughs> Oh man, Pyro, you've got me thinking that I should have like um, a command that I can put in the chat for like if I'm ever talking about sensitive topics. Because right now I'll just like mention if there's a trigger warning or something and just. But I like can't really like summon people back if I'm on my own, I guess, without just like mess, mess typing in chat myself. But that could be useful to have. Also, Nine, hello. I don't know if I said hi yet. It's hard to keep track of everybody that I've greeted and who I haven't. Hold course and aim. See, the problem is, is that I'm, I'm steering while I'm reading chat. That's my real problem here. The game's controls are fine. It's my attention span that's not. I'm trying to also find that little cave that I went into last time. Are we a singing chat now? Watching the sky. I'm trying to I'm trying to place it. I'm also trying to see where I can just fly into the core of the planet. Here we go. Hey <laughs> <Eight>, nine. <laughs> It seems, like, so silly to, like, greet everyone that, like, I've seen all throughout, like, the entire day, you know? Ah. Uh, but also, like, of course, I should. I guess this is what I wanted. Please! I swear, come, ship, ship, ship. Ship, ship, why? Ship. Oh, okay, thank you, thank you. All right, can't go this way. My ship's got that badonk. Can't fit through any of these places. This this is going terribly. I can't believe my ship is still in one piece. <laughs> I was like, at least I'll land on this platform here. Ship too thick. Can I at least just like come up here and look around a little bit? How do I turn on these floor platforms? That is the question. Wait a minute. What? It was locked up there. What changed? God, I'm getting so disoriented just trying to do this. Okay. We're going down. This is fine. <laughs> Error my gird. Oh, 
There's a room up here that I'm very curious about. This. This room. I'm sorry, this must be just so exciting for you all. Nine, I'm, that's weird. There you go. <laughs> Sometimes the, uh, the auto mod thinks it's doing something, um, but it's doing the wrong thing. I am totally stuck now. What the fuck? Why am I so stuck? What is, what am I stuck on? Oh my god, alright. Y'all, this is a whole thing. Automod is becoming self-aware. Alright. Uh, oh, uh, Ali, you're leaving. Oh, uh, thank you for hanging out. Sorry, I was, like, trying to, like, figure out what was happening. Um... Also, uh, Kassilder, are you heading out too? Let's see. What am I? Oh, you thought they were? Gotcha, gotcha. That's funny, I can, like, see my screen in the white hole. Alright, um... I guess we're gonna start start over again. Feels silly, but I just, like, did not get anywhere even remotely closer on that run. So, I'll tell you guys what I want the answer to be. What I want it to be is to be able to lift that levitation part that goes up and down, have it go up, and then, like, activate the floor, but it doesn't. So... Frustrated you to no end, but you won't give any... Uh, any hints as to how? That's exactly what I like to hear. <laughs> I like to hear that I didn't struggle alone. But not, uh... Not have it handed to me. Gotta work for it. You know, you know the drill. Uh, we're all in this together. God, what was that even from? It was like some Disney Channel shit when I was like five. Unless prompted, of course, yeah. If I, if I uh, ask for help, that's 
totally different. High school musical? Yeah, that's probably it. Just go down. Just, there we go. Nice controlled descent. Don't crash. It's fine, that's fine. Some light crashing is okay. I can't believe that I normally do this part completely out of my ship. Like, I, this is annoying to, uh, to do, but... It's so much faster. We're gonna land right here. Perfect. Hey, Somnithic. What's the objective of this cycle? I'm trying to get up here. That's the goal. Still working it out. I'm going to start by going down here. Oh, you'd always smack into a pillar and wake up dead without your ship? Yeah, I, like, never brought my ship in here before because I thought it was, like, too difficult to navigate, I guess. So I know that there's a teleporter here. I know that that exists. Um... Which makes me wonder if, like, I should try going to the opposite, complete opposite side of the planet to, like, land there and power it. Maybe we should try that. I don't know. It, like, I'm torn about it. Let's try it, though. Unless there's, like, a whole other location that I haven't been to. Um, here. I think that that's my best idea. Oh god, I was so disoriented with that fall falling there. Forge is conveniently on the opposite side. Oh, don't don't fall, don't fall. Ah, oh, whatever. What if a teleporter was a butler? You could summon it, Will. <laughs> Where do you get these? <laughs> That's a good question. Natural manufacturing the depths of your soul. lantern. I've never, like, looked at this before. I don't know if there's really anything to check out, but... Uh, Dave, you're gonna bounce because it's super late, but take care. Thank you. Have a good rest of your night, Dave. 
Thanks for hanging out. I feel like this, like, this is just not right. Oh, now it is activated. What? It doesn't look activated. It doesn't have a very strong blue glow. I did. I did get the meditate. Yep. Yep. I'm, like, mad because this was the first thing I tried. Was, like, moving the thing up and then trying to get up there. And it just didn't work the first time or I bounced off it too fast or something. And I'm not talking about this stream. I'm talking about, like, a stream or two ago. Um, uh, you just missed the first time. <laughs> Hi. What? Regarding the warp towers on Ash Twin, does each tower have to be perfectly aligned with the center of the astral body to which it's tuned. We don't need the alignment angle to be exact. It only needs to be within five degrees of the astral body's center. Of note, this gives a slightly longer warp window. I imagine this window will last roughly several seconds. As such, any Nomai stepping into the warp platform during the active window will be immediately warped. We will need to be careful around the platform for the duration of the time it is active to avoid accidental transportation. I enjoy uh, precision as much as the next Nomai, but for example, uh, if a tower's base were to shift even slightly, that tower might no longer align with its astral body. More accurately, I think precision as much as I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai I provided. The next Nomai is not poke. <laughs> We're free. Uh, I think I saw a thing like outside. Or was it? Yeah. Put that there. Where am I taking this first black hole core? And where am I taking the remaining cores once they're ready? All of the warp towers are being constructed on Ash Twin, so the black hole cores will go there. My gratitude in this case, Poke. Clary, I'm leaving for delivery. I'll send Yarrow your regards. Poke, I'll return to the forge shortly. I'm going to catch up uh, to Root and help him deliver the first core to Ash Twin, just to make sure Yarrow receives it. Of course you are. The white hole core cores are for the warp receivers. Each of the six receivers are being constructed at different locations, so those deliveries will be great in a uh, will be greater pain in your cervical spine. The tower designs in the high energy lab on Ember Twin reveal each receiver's location. Ask Garrow, he's familiar with them. Okay, we're gonna take this out.
Of note, Yara believes he spotted a flaw in the warp tower's design, namely that one of the warp towers on Ash Twin will never activate because its warp receiver will never align overhead. Hey, Harvey. Does your romantic interest think a warp tower's alignment point is its receiver? Does he not know that a warp tower always aligns with the center uh, of its corresponding astral body? <laughs> Did you hear Harvey, Cronar? <laughs> hey, bud. Do you guys want to see Harvey? Because he's being a little derp. Yeah, bud. Do you want to say hi? Say hi in the new mic. Yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. He's suffering so much. I like that cat emote. Yeah, it's okay. Aw, oh, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Maybe I'll let him out. He probably just wants to go outside. Out the out of my room. He had to think about it. He wasn't sure. This would have been so much easier if you had known that tidbit. That makes me wonder how, like, I guess I'm already here, so it's okay if you tell me how do you how you did it. Did you just like fly up there and just like try to land? Uh, Yara understands the distinction. He likely doesn't realize the hourglass twins are so close together that they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point in between them. <laughs> I seem to recall that your understanding of the work technology at first. I, I assume you're talking about the black hole forge and like lifting it up. If it's something else, then I guess, yeah, don't talk about it, I guess. I don't know. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. Is it okay to talk about other ways to get here? I mean, yeah, since, I get, since I'm here, I guess that's fine. Since I, like, figured out a way to get here and navigate around. Like, if it relates to something else that I haven't figured out that yet, then sure, just, like, use your best judgment. Um. You don't think so? Um. Not real. Not yet? Because of un unknown aspects? Yeah, then I guess not yet. Um. I know it's, like, it's really hard to, like, use your best judgment. Uh, but, like, I don't know... So it's it's hard to yeah rather be safe than yeah yeah we'll revisit like once I finish the game then I don't like care about any of this and we can have like a, a cool whole fun discussion about a bunch of stuff that I didn't get to see. Um, I have good news, Yarrow. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ash Twins. I'm intri I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here is working on Ash Twin project is excited to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. No, it isn't. Is everything well at the forge? The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Don't worry, love. Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinarily extraordinary, and her design work is beautifully clever. Ignore her, Yaro. Uh, the core is finished, and if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. I know I read those a little bit out of order, but... When in doubt, don't say anything in a first playthrough for Outer Wilds. Uh, seriously, when you recommend this game, I usually say not to even read the Steam description. Yeah, so that's how I went into this game, as I hadn't watched the trailer, I didn't read the description, so even the, uh, the resets, I didn't know what it was. Um, and that's definitely, like, the best way to play this game, like, for sure. I didn't notice that before. That's kind of new. Maybe it's just that they're moving that's, like, I've seen a couple of times. It's 
Very cool. Hey, Jude. Welcome in. Um, it's difficult for you to even mention some games like that because you know people who will Google them and go to the Steam page. Same thing for uh, you and a friend who never recommend games, uh, recommended it. I was like, gotta get it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, curious on my thoughts for the projected view thus far. Uh, I, I don't really have many thoughts about it yet because I don't, I don't even have a clue. My, my guess, if I had to take a guess right now, oh, I hope I can go under here. Yes. Haha. <laughs> um, my best guess right now is that it is the sixth location. Black Hole Forge. This probably won't light up until a teleporter does. Um. Oh, interesting. So this is going to flip me. Exit to surface. We don't want that. What's this on the wall? Black Hole Forge. It's the other side of, like, the entrance that was blocked off. Anything else in here? I don't want to go up to the surface. <laughs> I feel like there must be more here that I haven't... ...white discovered yet. Whew! I'm glad that worked! That was scary. Um, you've heard one bad review, but it wasn't what the person was looking for in general. Yeah, if you like exploring and puzzle-y games or space, this is definitely the way to go. I compared this to Subnautica a lot. I think that Subnautica and Antichamber were the like closest games that I could think of to compare this to. Um, I'm curious if this is going to take me somewhere. I'll let it sit for a minute. Oh, if you haven't played Subnautica, I highly recommend it. It, um, Subnautica is, is one of my top games. I wonder if this won't work because it's just, like, not lined up with the thing. In which case, you just kind of have to wait. So many games, not enough time. Yeah. I'm really excited for the, uh, sequel. So I haven't played the... Um, uh, early access. Of uh, Subnautica Below Zero at all, so I'm gonna play that blind next month when the full version releases on like the fifteenth. It's gonna be really fun. Really looking forward to that. Um, actually, you know what? Before I go back in here, let's go back to the ship. I'll check the logs, and then it'll tell me if there's anything left in the forge. Aha. Alright. So much stuff. A diagram depicting the alignment angle between a warp tower and its corresponding astral body. The warp tower alignment angles are not exact... They only need to be within five degrees of the astral body's center. This results in a slightly longer warp window. Yep, yep. Yeah, it is a game changer. No kidding. Um, the only game that scratched the surface with the same inch was um, Mist on the Switch. That's cool. Mist is such a classic. 
you've been checking out the early access occasionally. I've like heard a little bit of talk about it, but I don't really know anything about it. So I'm I'm excited. I hope that it is comparable to the first one. Couldn't get into it. I never really tried Mist, um, but I just like I know it to be a classic. Like I've seen it a lot. Um Warp Tower's alignment point is not its warp receiver. Rather, Warp Tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body. The hour's glass twins are so close together that they function as a single astral body, with a shared alignment point in between them. All the Warp Towers are being constructed on Ash Twin. Still gotta get here. An advanced warp core was approved for installation in the central chamber of Ash Twins. Alright, so maybe... Oh, and now we have this little thing. Cool. I wonder if that, um, teleporter will go to the Ash Twins. That'd be cool. Um, it's the only game that you've had to take notes for. Oh man, the only game I've taken notes for is, uh, Fez. <laughs> I had to take notes for Fez. I don't feel like this is gonna work because of the black hole. Morrowind? You played the original Mist, had sketches and everything for maps. Uh... Still not really had an itch to play it ever again, even after 25 years. <laughs> yeah. Morrowind took notes for. You voted for Mark to play Mist, and then... Uh, then you missed the whole stream! <laughs> oh no. Yeah, they did. Hey, KY. Welcome in. Sorry I interrupted you a few minutes ago. Um, I, like, really suddenly dropped a whole bunch of frames, and it, it wasn't Steam on my end, so I was like, maybe something started downloading on your end? But everything's fine. I finally got up here. Not really sure what to... what else to do. I don't... I want to know where this teleporter goes, but... You knocked out the whole game in 40 minutes? God damn. I guess if you don't have to do any peace management and stuff. I never noticed that those are those little uh, white holes and black holes. Hmm. Um, yes. I'm gonna- I'm gonna say yes, because I mostly... Harvey? I know how they work on other planets, so I'm sure that there's just like two and two that I haven't put together yet. What's up, buddy? You wanna come back up again? No? Come on. Come here. You come over, you let me pet him. Yeah. Harvey. It's okay, buddy. Alright, well... <laughs> I'm sure you guys are itching to tell me what I'm missing. Oh, I 100% know that. <laughs> Oh, 
and this is where that put me out. Okay. Maybe I should revisit. We're here for the pain, suffering, and confusion. Good. Perfect. Because so am I. Alright. Harvey, it's okay, bud. I don't know what he wants. Is there a way for me to get back into the planet? I left my ship in a very inaccessible place. I want to go talk to the guy again. I probably only have another, like, minute or two. keeps me out and he's gonna get picked up i've gotten really good at that ky i'm getting really good at uh <laughs> yeah the travelers are great also i'm further away from my mic now so i hope you can hear me i get harvey in the shot yeah hey bud Correction, you love this game. Who's my favorite traveler? Um, yeah, Harvey. Also, hello, Psychic. How are you doing? Um, he hates being on laps. He hates being held, but he'll tolerate it sometimes. Uh, my favorite, my favorite guy is probably, what's his name? It starts with an F, and he's in the middle of a, a dark bramble. <laughs> Do you want to go, bud? Hitting my... Hitting the headphones. Feldspar? Yeah, Feldspar. I just like how sassy he is. He, he's like, oh, you want to... Uh, I've also read this before for anybody who um, is joining now. Uh, that's why I'm not reading it aloud. I learned something. Uh, but yeah, he's so sassy when you go there and I'm like, hey, I found something and I like don't know how to get to the center of this planet. And he's like, you'll figure it out if I tell you that's giving it away. That sounds kind of spoilery. And I'm like, listen here, you're in the game. <laughs> you can't spoil something in the game. <laughs> They're not just characters, they are characters. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I went to the comet and... Oh, wow, wow, so that's how the Nomai died? That's really sad, isn't it? I know it was a long time ago, but still. Stars above, it's lucky we haven't evolved to live on land yet. To think, if the comet hadn't killed them, our species might have coexisted in the solar system. That would have been amazing. But I guess if I hadn't wanted to learn why the Nomad disappeared, I'd never have left Timber Hearth and come out here. Or had any of these adventures. Don't get me wrong, space is terrifying, but, you know, it has its moments. I learned something else. Uh, I saw the Hanging City on Brittle Hollow. You visited the Hanging City? Oh gosh, how was it? Was it amazing? Was it beautiful? Was it scary? The Hanging City is where Nomai settled permanently on Brittle Hollow. It was the, their most advanced settlement here. Why they chose to build their most advanced settlement so close to a you-know-what is beyond me. Maybe that kind of thing makes sense to Nomai, though. Maybe they needed the Black Hole or something? Like the Black Hole Forge? You clipped that moment. Um, I feel like I've done all these. Where should I explore? Anywhere else? 
Yeah, I've been to the Hanging City, I've been to the Southern Observatory. Gosh, it's already been two hours. Uh, let's do one more loop. Let's meditate. You named your ship in uh, Elite Dangerous after Ryback. Nice, that's awesome. Now I'm wondering what you clipped. I didn't feel like anything just there was clippable. Let's go check my logs again. So I guess... I guess my goal for the next stream is gonna be to better understand the teleporters. I should mess around with those a little bit more. Um... And then the quantum caves. I don't know what I missed here. Old settlement. And then there must be like just some nook or cranny that I've missed here too. But... And then the shuttle. There's a handful of places that we've really got to check out. And then eventually we're going to get here. I like that if you zoom in, you can see all of the locations of these things. That is very handy. I did! Okay, oh, KY sent you? Welcome in, Epic. Epic Zeus. Uh, yeah, I did get into the core of Giant's Deep. Um, uh, I was just going at the jellyfish in the wrong angle. So then I, I got down there and we were able to check out the control module, which was super cool. That was awesome. Let's go back here one more time. I want to look here again, and that area I really liked. I think the comet is super cool. See how good my aim was. The music in this game is so good. It is fantastic. Um, it is constantly impressing me, to be honest. Um, I love the details where if you just go to a new area that you haven't been to before, there's a whole new soundtrack in that location that you've like never heard before um i think that's awesome so i've been i i like to listen to game soundtracks a lot especially while i'm working um and this one i'm like really excited to be able to listen to it and i haven't checked it out at all yet Your favorite song wasn't added to the game, it was removed pre-release? That's such a bummer. 
Did they include it in the soundtrack at least? Some of the soundtrack titles are massive spoilers. Yeah, that was the other thing I was worried about. So, like, I haven't even looked at it. It's like anything revolving around this game. Also, I never moved my camera back up after Harvey was on my lap. There we go. Okay. Um, Harvey, what's going on, bud? Oh. I need to stop reading chat and, like, actually get to where I'm trying to get to. <laughs> Buddy. Let's go up, back a little bit. A little more, there we go. That'll work, it's fine. It's in one piece, it's fine. No damage. Nope, 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 got it. Okay. I've read that before. I'm wondering if I need to, like, call the shuttle back somehow so that I can get in here. Like, recall the shuttle to, uh... The Brittle Hollow, like where we just were. Too far, too far. No, go back, go back, go back. I might have messed this up. If it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. Oh, nope, missed it. That's alright. Whatever. I beefed it. Totally fucked that up. The ice is so funny to me, also. I mean, that wasn't even, like, really where I was trying to get anyways. It's just this that I have questions about. And I've definitely been here when we were going around the sun and it didn't help. Good news, I didn't fall into the sun. That is true. The slippery ice noise is really fun. Um... Uh, it's not added in the soundtrack, but the song's name is non-spoiler and on the SoundCloud of the creator. That'll be on the list of things I check out once I finish the game. My ship is gone, though. My ship fucked off. That's gonna take a while. Where are the other- now I'm trying to think of where the other places are that have, like, a recall- Because the twins have one. Alright. We're gonna meditate one more time. Uh, this is a game where if you see anything but it's basic... Uh, but it's name and basic premise, you might spoil yourself a bit, yeah. Um... When I tell people about this game and they don't know anything about it, and I'm recommending it to them, I just give them comparisons of other games that I find kind of similar, like we were saying earlier with Subnautica and Antichamber. And I, I say that, like, heavy mind-bending exploration uh, on, a, on a large scale in space. Stuff like that. Um... Which kind of, like, gets the point across it a little bit. But it also helps when, like, several people whose opinions you value very highly say that this is their favorite game. It's like, that's, that's enough to get me to play it. Hmm. 
to go back to the interloper. There goes the quantum moon. I'm surprised I even spotted that. <laughs> You don't think um, you've met anyone who has played this and disliked it? I have not either. Someone was, uh, who was it earlier, was saying that someone they knew played it. And um, they didn't really like it, but it was just like not the type of game that they were in the mood for. We're gonna go past it, that's fine. This time, I am going to just stay in the back of the comet, and I'm going to watch that uh, shuttle. I'm just going to watch the shuttle. Um, don't tell anyone, but you've not played it you're waiting until you see an entire playthrough from another stream and oh you you saw an entire playthrough from another stream and you want to forget so that when you play it yourself you don't remember the solutions gotcha i've done that for a couple of games myself um like i'll often watch someone play a game for like 20 or 30 minutes to decide whether or not it's something i think i'll enjoy so, a couple of puzzle games were like that, um, uh, Manifold Garden? I'm doing exactly what I said I wasn't gonna do. I'm gonna stand here, and I'm gonna watch this like a hawk and see if it melts. Manifold Garden is such a mind screw. Yeah, it, it looks really cool, and I didn't see enough of it that I couldn't play it myself. Uh, but I definitely want to just, like, have it all pushed out of my mind, let it sit for a while. Um, love the style and themes in the game. It looks really cool. It reminds me of Antichamber a lot. I just really, really liked Antichamber. A solid disrecommend on on that for watching another streamer beat the game. Yeah. I'm definitely curious about like where this is gonna go from this point on, because I just looking at the at the map of like hints or whatever, my rumor map, I've seen a lot of Oh, there goes my ship. Goodbye, ship. Nope, 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 not me. You can't take me. It's fine. It's fine. Was that it? Was that everything? And it just, like, didn't melt at all? And my ship's just gone? And... There it goes. Really? That was the- alright, so it didn't melt at all. Okay. Welp. That's fine. Ship's like, see ya. Don't go into Dark Bramble, don't do it. Oh, I did it. I got back to the ship. Yeah. I'm not terrible at flying this thing, I swear. It's only in confined spaces. Um, 
watched a video about the making of and you love how the rumors map existence is basically well how can we give you hints on where to go let's just put our design docs on them on the game yeah it's it's very well done i think The door is open. I don't know why Harvey is meowing so much, but maybe he'll sleep well tonight. Uh, hmm. Well, that wasn't as productive as I wanted. You can't hear him on the stream? Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Because he was, like, right next to me for a little while and he was meowing, and I think people could hear him when he was close. But he's on the other side of the room right now. I want to, like, I really want to find one more thing before uh, I end the stream. So I might as well just, like, use this last uh, cycle all the way and see what we come up with. It's a bad thing, to be honest. Let us hear the cat meowing. If, um, for, I think it's, what is it, like 2,000 channel points, something like that? Uh, I'll give him a treat. And I'll put the treat right next to the mic so you can hear him chonk. I'm glad that I didn't crash into the Ash Twins right then. ASMR cat chunk. <laughs> yeah. You usually saw each loop through uh, or hurled yourself into the sun if you were determined to start over. I I try not to use the restart, but I do sometimes. Hey, Alex. Alex James Guitar, welcome in. This is your favorite space game? It seems to be like everybody's favorite game. I really like it too, I can see why. Also, just as a heads up, this is a uh, first playthrough. Oh, don't go into the thing. All right, Whew. Um. But yeah, first playthrough, so no hints, no spoilers. Just letting everybody know who's coming in here. <laughs> this feels so inefficient. Ha ha! <laughs> Good enough. Good luck, ship. Given concerns about our sediment stability, we should construct a new, less temporary shelter. We need to stay close to the escape pods so Felix can monitor incoming messages. We can't be rescued if we aren't present to respond. I don't believe anyone is coming to save us, Thatch. But we must save ourselves. I agree. We're here because the eyes signal called to us and we followed. If we're uh, to find it, we need to not merely survive but thrive. This is a wise point, Plume, and eloquently made. If moving to the northern glacier uh, will keep us safer, then that is what we should do. I believe we should migrate to the northern glacier. Building beneath the crust again would shelter us from the volcanic moon's eruptions. What if we use gravity crystals to craft a stable path? Yes, yeah, so we've been to the southern observatory already. But I don't know if this goes to the same place. I don't even remember noticing this before. You, oh, you never read the game. Yeah, no, no worries. It's uh, it's mostly just a, a heads up so that one of my lovely mods won't uh, mute you. This is a game that's too intense and too freaky for you, so you watch streamers play it. Fair enough. There are some parts in this game that have freaked me out. Absolutely. Is this on Switch? It is coming to Switch. It will be on Switch in June, I think. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> this game is high key a horror game um, by accident. Also, hello, giant Sequina. Oh no, did I? F I fucked up. I totally fucked up. Maybe? I mean, I fell. Is this... I just want to make sure that I didn't miss anything when I fell like that. Oh my god, I get so disoriented. That's where I fell. That's where I came from. Okay. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Space is spooky. It sure is. Oh, it just says summer. Okay. I bet this game would play really nicely on the Switch, though. I definitely feel like I've been... Everything belongs on the Switch. Uh, you're part of the uh, Pets Initiative, KY? The what? The Pets Initiative. Port everything to Switch. suppose so. And do you like pets? Uh, what does your suit mean? Ghost matter. I'll show you. I've been up here before, so, um... I was hoping that this was all gonna take me to a new area, but I don't think it did. So, ghost matter nearby. See that that green stuff is, uh, insta-death if I touch it. Definitely read these. Ah, uh, hmm. I want to get back to where I was. I don't know if I can very easily. I feel kind of, like, bad, just, like, aimlessly wandering, but... I guess that's just how it be sometimes. Now we're back here. Aimlessly wandering is Outer Wilds in a nutshell. I mean, that is validating. love to hear a story about how this planet came to be. The black hole was there when the Nomai were. 
and the ground was unstable, so why just now is it actually disintegrating? That's a good question. I feel that way about a lot of this world. Like, a lot of it, they say, has been happening for- or was fine for centuries and then all of a sudden it's not. It seems to be a kind of common- oh, this was that thing I was looking at. This was- oh, that's the forge, the controls. Okay. But what have I not figured out about the old settlement? That's what's killing me right now. I have to go, like, go back to that first area again to see it. But it's just kind of hard to get to. Geronimo! Oh, there it is. Ooh. Keep going. Keep going. All the way around. Aha! I'm getting good at that. Wonder what 22 minutes means to a species whose homeland, uh, homeworld experiences multiple day and night cycles in that time. That's a neat question. Kind of like, it seems like, I I feel like humans are really adapted to that, um, you know, the 24-hour cycle, making sure we're, like, sleeping eight hours a night and stuff, like, obviously, because that's what it's like here. But if we were on Mars, for example, um, where it's different, would we adapt to that longer cycle? Uh, or not. Would we just, like, have to be not synchronized with the planet? Oh, I think the whole thing fell. Oxygen detected. You bet we'd synchronize to a 30-hour day. I wonder. I did kind of want to go back here, actually. Slow down, slow down, slow down. You often see people coming out of isolation doing simulations often up to 30 and 40 hour cycles. That's very interesting. It's weird trying to, like, not land on stuff. I assume that's the quantum moon. Yeah, just teleporting around. With that being the sixth location. Oh, I'm so disoriented. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh, this might be new to me. That might be new down there, too. Ugh. Okay, got the scroll. That was kind of hard to get. I'm also not sure if I've been in here.
I have no source for this. <laughs> I've definitely read that one before. The one that's already in there. Ugh. Man, how? Oh, God. Thank you. Velocity matched. Oh, thank you. Can I not put this down, though? Well, all right, I can't put it down, so I can't take the other one out. Are there any, I think there's another one down here. Maybe? Yeah, there is. Oh, oh, nope, 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 go back, go back. I didn't mean to jump, I'm sorry. Drop scroll! Whew. Remove scroll. Now we're thinking with portals. This was one of the last areas you ever got to. I got kind of lucky with it. One of the earlier times I tried to get here, I was just standing in it, thinking about it, when it happened to, uh, go into space. And I was like, oh, I can just, I can just do the thing. Um, if you're here to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, you're almost prepared to set out on this deeply significant journey. Before you do, pause and remember your history. We make this journey not only for ourselves, but also to honor the members of our clan who came before us. Those who, after the crash that brought them to this star system, became stranded on Brittle Hollow and Ember Twin with no communication between those groups of survivors. Yeah, that timing, right? Um, these Nomai looked upward from two different planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting their skies. It was this moon, the quantum moon, that kept their curiosity alive during this time of period of hardship, during this long period of hardship. After the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became our clan's united goal to find and visit the quantum moon. This took time, and many Nomai who dreamed of seeing the quantum moon died before we discovered how to make the journey. When you reach the quantum moon, recall these Nomai and carry their curiosity onward with you. All right, well, that was a little bit of information that I was missing there. Just in time to watch the supernova. Found a good source, Human Psychology, edited by Robert Schmidt Shem and Gerhard Thuse. Up to 48 sour, uh, hour cycles have been found. It's, it, it's, I don't know, it's kind of dark, but my first thought was, like, in prisons, especially in isolation. Um, I feel like there's a lot of opportunities to study there, even though it's completely barbaric. Uh, Schmidt can be pronounced as if the D isn't there. Thank you. I'm really, I'm really bad at reading. <laughs> I, um, uh, I, I recently figured out that I have dyslexia, so I'm... Uh, please forgive my mispronunciations of almost everything. I blame it on that. <laughs> Sky mid it. Really? Like night. And nigget from Holy Grail. Huh. Wild. Yeah, learn something new every day. Well, uh, I was only planning on streaming for two hours, so I went a little bit over today. I think I'm gonna call it here and raid somebody. 
keep blowing up, but your sh uh, shoot your ship and suit keep the details of your exploration. Yeah, so there's a 20 minute cycle. Nine. Um, yeah, you go back in time 20 minutes, and but you remember everything. Uh, yeah, thank you so much, Nob. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks everybody for hanging out. We've we've had so many new so many new faces the last few streams, and it's been it's been really cool. I like I I don't know. I feel really lucky that you all are here and hanging out with me. So thank you for being here. Um, let's see who's online. See who we can raid. 